Hey there, this is Todd at BizLadder. This Wix training video is going to talk about invoices. How do you create them? How do you send them? What do they look like? And then what can you do with them once you send them from within your Wix account? The good news is that Wix and it's built in CRM, currently called Ascend, uh, does a great job allowing you to create simple invoices, getting them out, and then integrating that even more so into your emails and workflows and automations. But this video is gonna talk about getting started. How do you get set up? with invoices. So there's gonna be two sections we cover here. Uh, first, you're gonna to go to settings and we're gonna lay the groundwork for invoices. Go down to e-commerce and finance. By the way, you have to be connected to a premium plan to access most of this. You're gonna go into invoices and quotes. You can enter a company ID if you require that in your region, your currency, your default uh, payment terms. Let's go ahead and change that to due on receipt. Taxes, if you have any that are, are going to be applied to every invoice and you can remove ascend uh, branding obviously if you upgrade the ascend plan and you're going to go over to invoices you can edit your template you can see there's all kinds of um, different fields that you want to set here let's change our initial invoice number I just don't like it starting with one just uh, just make up a number there you go you can also build in some different uh, details about price quotes and then of course automations which we talked about but we're not gonna get into that so really the main sections to get started are general and invoices and everything is saved automatically so to create your first invoice you go back into finances invoices and if you haven't sent one yet it'll say get started and the first time you click this, it'll ask, okay, what's your business name and what email will the invoices come from? I've already done that, so it's not gonna show here, but once you do that, it'll go right into the new invoice and you can see my default due, due on receipt. You've got auto payments, obviously requiring an up, upgraded Ascend if you wanna do a lot of those. And then you've got all of your document details here. Choose a contact. I'm gonna choose myself. You can add a new contact from that screen if you'd like. Give it a title, add in a invoice item. By the way, if you have some booking services that you have connected or you set up that in your settings, in your invoice settings, you connected it to booking services, when you click here, they'll all show up. And you can see as I added a new one, now it shows up in the drop down, so you can easily select it later on. You can add any notes, you can add your legal terms, um, it's a good idea if you have terms and conditions to drop them in here. Just always good to have those attached to the invoice. And then you can preview it. You can see it grabbed the logo, grabbed our new starting number, has our due date, has all the info here. And then you just click send. And that'll trigger another pop-up, I'm not going to do it here, where you can edit the message that actually is included in that email when that invoice goes out. So that is it. Once you have invoices, they will show up, we'll leave this page. They'll show up here and then you can send a reminder, you can archive, archive them, you can void them. You as the site owner will get notified when that invoice is paid. And actually in this screen, you can even see when the invoice has been viewed. So that's a starter kit for invoices, obviously a lot more depth to it available than that. But any questions, reach out to Todd at BizLadder, 302-307-3247. That's a number you can call or text, 302-307-3247.